one percentage has covered under the water body, 29 has covered under the land mass. Out of which the 71, 97 percentage is a saline water, 3 percent is a fresh water, clear 2.3 percent is the inaccessible fresh water present in a glaciers in the ice caps, and 0.7 percentage water available or accessible for the humans, which can use by the humans for their variety of needs. As per the changing needs, changing requirements of a modern society, modern society, the quality and the quantity of a water resource affects. Quantity and quality of a water resource affects. So it adversely impact, impact on a scarcity of water. Quality and quantity of water influence the scarcity of water, shortage of water. So the factors which are affecting as a quali uh, quantity of water, quantity of water are the urbanization, expansion of the cities, increasing the demand of a water, and that water has completely complete to the underground water, like your city Jalandhar. Second, commercialization of agriculture in which the HYV seeds utilized are a green revolution. So excessive use of HYV seeds for increasing production, which needs a plenty of water, through which as a quantity of water also reduced in parts of our Northern India. Third, as industries, industry, number of industries are also increasing day by day. Increase in the industries leads to the decreasing the quantity of water. On the other side, quality of water also influenced due to as a growth of industries. Chemical effluents discharged from the industries, released from the industries directly discharged in a river water. They are discharged in river water. Example, Nana where industrial chemical effluents directly discharged in river water. Any example? Very good. Yamuna, sorry, Yamuna, which has polluted by the Delhi. Ganga polluted at Allahabad. So next, religious ceremonies are also affects the quality of water. Half burnt bodies, these are thrown in a Ganga, through which has Ganga polluted. Clear? Religious ceremonies. Common baths, organization of the common baths. Social factors are also responsible for the pol river pollution. Washermen which wash the clothes in a running water. Dhobi Ghat. Okay. Washermen, they wash the clothes on an open area. Even the uh, women, women males, they are fetching the water from the Rivers or rivers are basically as a carrying the, carrying the domestic waste. This is as a tool. That's why the Yamuna pollutes. So these are the factors which are affecting as a water scarcity in India. Water scarcity in India. Till there any questions? Any questions? Hydrology. H Y D R O L O G Y. Very good. Anybody else? How many aspects are there? All these are related to the growth of a human. That's why the geography is a study about the with relation to man. Last year, after physical geography. So, any questions still there? Study of? No, it's not in hydrology. It's not in water. I have said that river, river, lakes, underground water, and water vapors. They are included under the fresh water, accessible to humans, hydrology. Okay. Anybody else? Ah, the growth of a river as per the areas, places, or development in a time, which has a part of a geography. Which that river which has originated from the mountains and submerged at their mouth. Mouth of the river, which part of the river is considered as their mouth? Huh? Which part of a river will consider as their mouth? Very good, Ashwin. Very good, girl. Mouth is that place where the river submerged in a larger water body. Sea or ocean means deltas. Where the river has fallen in a larger water body by making as a delta or making the estuaries. Clear? So let's we continue. Water resource. The scarcity of water, shortage of water. The factors which are affecting as a scarcity of water in India, there are two kinds of factors are there, physical factors and man-made factors. Physical factors, uneven distribution of rainfall. Nana, it can be as a factor responsible for the water scarcity. 
uneven distribution of rainfall. No? Yes? Sure. Prove it. Give example. Uneven distribution of rainfall. Rajasthan, the western parts of India receives a very good, receives a less than 20 centimeters rainfall. Water scarcity is a mostly prevails. Quantity and quality has varied in this area. But as compared to this, in the eastern parts of a country which receives 1,000, more than 1,000 centimeters annual rainfall, because of which the Asda, wettest place has located in India. So, yes, Rahul, which place in India is the wettest place which it receives as a more than 1,000 centimeters annual rainfall? You read last year in the climate chapter. Sorry? Repeat. Repeat. Would you clear me? Mosinram, M A W S Y N R A M, Mosinram. So, first, as an uneven distribution of a rainfall, second, as a climatic changes. It can be as a factor responsible for the quantity and quality of a water, Aryans. It can be a reason responsible for the scarcity of water. Yes? How? Give example. Give example. Climatic changes. Double. Pani kam ho jata. Sadhya mein bad jata. But it's a regular process. We can't say cases as a climate change. It's a regular process. Sir. Due to as a revolution of the earth, seasons are changed. After the revolution, we don't have to do it. We don't have to do it. We always have to do it. We don't have to do it. Climatic change is responsible for the water scarcity. How? Monsoons which are affecting the climate of India. Climate of India, it has, it, uh, it has now presently as an abnormal in condition. So, I have a question. This year, as a monsoons, they come earlier. Earlier. When the monsoons they are coming towards India as compared to as a normal conditions earlier or later, under such circumstances, it has adversely impact over the agriculture because agriculture dependent upon the monsoons and a sudden reverse also. Okay. Climatic changes means as the changes in a seasons, the duration of the seasons has changing now. Summers are extending and the winters are shrinking now. After the winters are one better. Winters may not come, monsoons may come. Monsoons. If the rain has a lesser occur during the monsoon, it will impact over the scarcity of water. Changes in a climate. Clear? Third, relief features. It can be as a reason responsible for the water scarcity. Relief features. Ashi. Relief. Geological topography. Rahul said topography. It can be a responsible for the water scarcity. How? Oh, example. Which kind of relief feature will experience some more rain compared to the others? Which will receive as a more rain? Sorry. Coastal areas, coastal areas will receive the more rain water. Here is one example, Ashim. This is as a criticism of your concern. Criticism. These regions are not receiving the rainfall. These are coastal areas. Coastal areas of Tamil Nadu. Coastal areas of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, they do not receive as a plenty of a rainfall. Tamil Nadu receives a rainfall to the retreating monsoon winds. Those winds which are moving from a north towards the south, through which the Tamil Nadu receives rainfall. You have experienced it in November, December, every year Tamil Nadu has trucks. And in that time, the whole India has not come. But you are saying, coastal areas receive the plenty of a rainfall. It's a contradiction. Mumbai example, I'm saying that these areas are receiving as a more rain, but the eastern coastal plains, these are not a part of India. These are not a part of our coast. The eastern coast is a more lengthier compared to the western coast. How many you say that? Coastal areas receive a plenty of rainfall. My question is, which kind of relief structure will receive as a more rain? Mountains. Obstructions. When the obstacles are comes on the way of a winds, 
it leads to the rain for example the windward sites windward sites of the western ghats is seen as a plenty of rain for comparatively in eastern ghats which are not parallel to the southwest monsoon winds is karan yahan rain nahi hoti baat ko dimag mein rakhna so for this as a rain water harvesting techniques are applicable over the eastern parts of the country eastern part for example in tamil nadu water scarcity has come due to the rooftop rain water harvesting in the uh, west bengal people are dug the canals or narrow channels along the agricultural fields what is what term we are utilizing for this we, it is also a rain water harvesting that we use in a west bengal where the farmers build they construct as a canal structures they dug the holes on a uh, around their agriculture fields such kind of a rain water harvesting technique is known as around agriculture fields bamboo drip irrigation applicable over the mountains bamboos nahi hote west bengal mein kaise layenge assam se mangwayenge it will be is a cost of production transportation charges then it will be not feasible for the people those farmers which are still at the very poor how can they afford to be contradictory right but i what we call do it question is a uh, in west bengal there are the narrow channels are built around the agriculture fields for collection of rain water during off season they are utilizing that water for their agriculture and the domestic use what term we are utilizing for it what term yes who will answer naina where khushi online so which person aquatic life those fish which which can be as a migrated in a river their way their migration it has obstructed due to construction of a dam very good yes any other aap kehna kya chahte hain ha sedimentation the fertility of a soil shall impact due to as a construction of a dam very good any other poor dam but it is as a positive uh, negative point fourth fifth any other loss of a biodiversity due to as a deforestation biodiversity has disturbed the aquatic sorry biotic animals wildlife animals they they lost their habitats they lost their habitats 